gold, when you combine it with blockchain, that is gold 2.0. Uh, important economies are at these BRICS conferences. They've announced that they're working on some kind of uh, global settlement currency and, and use that as a payment mechanism. But all you're really doing with any payment currency is you're keeping score. So the sending financial institution, the receiving financial institution will have a service provider and that service provider is responsible for a lot. Tokenization, it has the potential to open a new chapter in financial services, making it faster, cheaper, more accessible to more people. They want digital currency, centralized digital currency that they control, and they want to get everybody on a social credit score system that probably connected to some sort of a vaccine app. And I invest in those in uptimes and downtimes and all times. I never stop. I never stop. I never stop. I invest all the way down. I invest all the way up. But we're working to get rid of Gary Gensler. Uh, I gave a hearing where I was able to communicate with him and say, look, I plan to fire you. Enjoy the ride, pal. If you got some bags, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news, no breakfast, no copy, just straight extra, extra. Bullishness, shout out to the latest sub, SG, SG in the building. Appreciate you stopping by, stuffing some bags. Go ahead. Throw on those moon suits. Throw on those pilot shades. Buckle up. Because the future's extra. Extra. Bullish. Let's go full speed. Full throttle. Into the crypto verse. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at 1.22 trillion. Down about 0.2% in the past 24 hours. We got BTC's dominance. 48.2 ETH, 18.3. We got XRP still in that number six spot, right around 47 cents, up almost 1% in the past 24. We got Stellar XLM right around 10 cents. We got BTC, 30,251 ETH, right around 18, 19 hundo. We got Flare Networks here right around 0. 0.0132. Songbird, 006. We got Xlist, 001. Spectre, right around 5 cents. We got ELS, 0. 0.0019 EQ 0.0364 We got Casino Coin triple zero one five We got BPM double zero one zero We got a quick announcement before we kick things off We got the August 18th East Coast Meetup coming up Daytona, Florida at the 509 Lounge Links down below We got about a month, 10 days away Before we head out to Florida For the East Coast Meetup We'll see you there, links down below for all the info we got Daniel WWF to kick things off. Had another convo about incentives and it led to staking somehow. If the XRP ledger would have a secure, trustless on-chain staking, would you stake your XRP? David Schwartz, Joe Katz responds and says the request for staking always confuses me. What would the source of yield be? And he says, I'm not a huge fan of taxing other people's transactions to provide some people with the yield. Digital asset investor gold 2.0 is coming. Why own Bitcoin when you can own a digital asset backed by gold and solve the transportability problem of gold that is built on the XRP ledger? Gold, when you combine it with blockchain, that is gold 2.0. Because all of the qualities that the proponents of Bitcoin attributed to Bitcoin, you actually have with gold when you have it as a medium of exchange. But today with blockchain, it's so much easier for somebody who accepts payment in a digital currency backed by gold to authenticate the legitimacy of that digital currency. So everything that worked with a paper monetary system before we had the internet, before we had blockchain, will work even better now. So instead of uh, the crypto community trying to reinvent the wheel, and trying to say that Bitcoin is gold, when Bitcoin doesn't have any of the properties that made gold desirable as money. Bitcoin was able to counterfeit some of the properties that made gold better money than other commodities, whether it's the divisibility, the fungibility, the portability, but none of those attributes would have mattered but for the intrinsic value of the metal itself. But with blockchain, Gold is even more marketable today than it's ever been. And so that's where all of the effort should be. How do we use blockchain to reintroduce gold? Because the reason that the governments got us away from gold is because government fiat currency was uh, more efficient to use. Throw it on the XRP ledger. Waited to get a hold on that order on demand liquidity. Know what you hold? We got Riz XRP bricks growing by the day. XRP. 
BRICS just said, you know, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa are the big five BRICS, but they've, they've now expanded their meetings and their uh, work to include a lot more countries. So Argentina, Iran, Turkey, a lot of other uh, important economies are at these BRICS conferences. They've announced that they're working on some kind of uh, global settlement currency. And, and uh, I would make the distinction uh, between a, a payment currency and a reserve currency. People tend to confuse the two. They tend to talk about the reserve currency status. That's the tough nut to crack. It, it, it can happen. Sterling used to be the main reserve currency. It lost its role between 1914 and 1944. But that took 30 years. Um, now the dollar may be losing its role. That's going to be a slow process. But the payment currency is different. You could use almost anything as a payment currency, assuming the parties agree. So they may come up with uh, an international uh payment currency backed by a basket of commodities and they're all commodity producers you know russia has oil and natural gas saudi arabia has oil brazil uh, again has oil but also large agricultural output largest uh, uh, or second largest soybean producer in the world um africa has you know enormous mineral outputs etc so you go around the, the membership and uh you, you can see that they've got the commodity potential commodity backing for that um, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, SCO, is a Central Asian group led by Russia and China. But again, they're attracting new members. They're working on something similar. Um, and, uh, and, and others are as well. And of course, we've got our, our friends over in, uh, in crypto world. I don't think that will be, um, uh, a reserve currency probably ever. But as a medium of exchange, as a payment, it could perform a role. And I've, I've lectured about and hypothesized that Russia and China could develop a new digital currency it could be a cryptocurrency called the g coin putin coin whatever you like um and use that as a payment mechanism but all you're really doing with any payment currency is you're keeping score bricks gold xrp that x anderson why is the xrp ledger the most hated because it's truly removing the middleman with monetary incentives Corresponding banks, miners, stakers, Coinbase, Exchange saw it as a thread early with the built-in DEX. They all extract fees from the users to keep the system running XRP. No more middleman. Drain the swamp. Free the standard. We got ISO 20022. Let's do it. A lot depends on service providers. Every financial institution will have a FedNow service provider. Out to another. But ultimately, there is a lot that depends on a service provider. So the sending financial institution, the receiving financial institution will have a service provider and that service provider is responsible for a lot. And we'll get into what that means, but ultimately you're not at this alone, right? You, you need to rely upon a service provider in order to both send messages to the Federal Reserve Bank, but also receive those messages, ensure that you are staying compliant with all of the various anti-money laundering concerns, uh, making sure that you are staying ahead of faster fraud, quote unquote, um, and ensuring that you are abiding by the operating rules that the Federal Reserve is, is laying out. So certainly many considerations for you to take into account. And really, there, there's four main areas. We got the notorious XRP, a global transformation. You know what's coming. Tokenization. It has the potential to open a new chapter in financial services, making it faster, cheaper, more accessible to more people. So it's great to see HKMA leading the way earlier this year with tokenized green bonds. And we're proud to be an arranger of the first ever issuance by a government globally. When it comes to currencies, we remain deeply engaged in the ongoing, what should I say, debate over virtual assets. And we do support the government's outreach to virtual asset service providers. But in the long term, we believe it will be central bank digital currencies or CBDCs that will trigger the real revolution. They offer the flexibility and speed of virtual assets, but with added security and diminished KYC risks. China has thought longer and harder than almost any other country that I know about how CBDCs are going to work. And that's likely to translate into a formidable first mover advantage when it does go international. Now, thanks to the hard work of Eddie and the HKMA, Hong Kong is already at the cutting edge of CBDC internationalization. At HSBC, we're proud to have been, uh, taken part in a, in a pilot last year by the Bank for International Settlements involving the HKMA, the PBOC, the Central Banks of Thailand and the UAE. So I think this is an area that we really need to watch closely and will bring significant change to how our financial sectors work. Hold the line. Load up. I still have some time. 
bags pack. We got Masari Crypto. Let's dive into how the XRP Ledger performed in Q2 of 2023. With a strong focus on ecosystem development, activity has increased in various NFT transaction types on the XRP Ledger mainnet. Like most other layer ones, the XRP Ledger network activity metrics have declined in Q2. Average daily transactions on the average daily active addresses have both declined, while the net number of accounts has driven the total accounts up 0.7% from Q2. The XRP Ledger NFT transactions increased quarter over quarter, with the average daily transaction increasing by 12.7% quarter over quarter. At the end of Q2, 1.6 million NFTs have been minted with the XLS 20D standard. Four sidechains such as Quorum Official Root Network are offering XRP Ledger developers more programmability to explore security, tokenization, metaverse, respectively. We also got XRPL Grants Wave 6, the XRP Ledger Accelerator First Cohort, the CBDC Innovator program quick note support for the xrp ledger and more and we got for an in-depth look at the xrp ledger q2 2023 key metrics including financial analysis network analysis and ecosystem analysis to explore the full quarterly report for free from red velvet tips the state of the xrp ledger q2 2023 we got a tweet from danielle dixon says important we're investigating a takeover of stellar.org twitter account please do not trust comms from the account until we report back it looks like the Stellar Twitter account has been hacked and they're pushing out this fake scam here. This is a scam. Watch out for the Stellar account it has been taken over by scammers. They're trying to say Stellar is now on the Ethereum network and you can claim your free tokens. This is a scam. Be careful out there with your cryptocurrencies. And we got Kim.com. Never use government digital currencies. It's a digital concentration camp. Hoping people wake up enough to at least slow it down. <laughs> These yeah, people are pushing in a very obvious and very specific direction. They want digital currency, centralized digital currency that they control, and they want to get everybody on a social credit score system. They'll probably connect it to some sort of a vaccine app. Or if you want to travel around, all they would need is another pandemic to try to push that shit through. And they're already talking about that. It's very spooky. Because when you look into the history of this this lab and, and uh, them funding it and this getting out and the, the way they responded to it, the whole thing is so scary because it was effective. It was effective and very, very financially effective. I mean, they made a lot of fucking money. Yeah. And if they could do something similar again and then clamp down more on people, that's what scares me. This this talk of centralized digital currency, that's what they have in China. If, they, if you fuck up in China and you get a bad social credit score because you tweeted something they didn't like, well, now you can't buy a plane ticket. Now you can't buy a car. Yeah. Now, you, now you can't get a loan. Now you can't do something. You, you step the fucking line and people self sensor mm -hmm. they don't want to be a part of that now they got you you got jd 757 xrp shown below is the weekly chart minus all wicks noise and focuses on the weekly closes which helps mitigating false signals in the shorter time frames currently retesting the 21 week ema blue line will we hold or break lower xrp we got dave ramsey diligently investing your money little by level over time is where real lasting wealth comes from simply put the best way to get rich quick is to get rich low keep on loading up on that xrp while you still have some time this is my xrp dollar cost averaging strategy i invest in four types of mutual funds growth growth and income aggressive growth and international i prefer mutual funds that have at least a 10-year track record and all of the ones I currently own do. And I invest in those in uptimes, in downtimes, in all times. I never stop. I never stop. I never stop. I invest all the way down. I invest all the way up. I am always looking like I'm the smartest person on the planet. And the only intelligent thing I did was I didn't stop. And I just keep investing. And I just keep investing. And I just keep investing. And we found all kinds of research that says the number one correlating factor to people who build wealth invest is that they actually invest. Consistently. They don't sit and discuss whether the debt ceiling is going to knock them out. Whether it's up, whether it's down, whether it's sideways, whether it's at zero, whether there's more FUD, whether there's another lawsuit, I just keep on buying it up. XRP, the longer they take, the higher we climb on that XRP rich list. Nothing could stop us. Nothing can shake us out. We keep on adding to them bags. Doesn't matter what the news says. Doesn't matter what the max he say. We know what we hold. We know what's coming and nothing can stop it. Also, shout out to Uphold for continuing to allow us to add to our generational wealth bags. Where will you be when that regulation jar of molasses finally breaks open and XRP's true price is finally revealed? Bye bye glitches. I am the XRP bag man, Moon Commander, currently up here on the mothership, stuffing Big some bags bag. and enjoying the show. 
Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing those likes for some more. Moon o'clock news. Hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra foolish out there. Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD. Buy up those bags. Okay. Don't forget to spread that liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe. Drop a comment down below. All the OG diamond hands out there. Drop a comment down below. Drop an elbow on that like button from the top ropes. We'll catch you up here, top floor, on the mothership for the moon party. BYOB. Bring your own bags. Be your own bank. Be your own boss. Bring your own billions. Peace out, crypto ghosts. I don't listen to no false prophets. Too busy getting to them profits. Got my stakes locked in. One percent and they can't stop it. We got plenty of options. We got plenty of options. I don't listen to no false prophets. Too busy getting to them profits. Got my stakes locked in. One percent and they can't stop it. We got plenty of options. We got plenty of options. I don't listen to no false prophets. Too busy getting to them profits. Got my stakes locked in. One percent and they can't stop it. We got plenty of options. We got plenty. Of I don't listen to no.